what is happening YouTube? So I'm Craig, um, you might remember me from the What's in the Garage video. I'm up in Sheffield, being up a spoiler for Chris for his Honda from a guy called Lewis. Um, I've come in the trusty BMW, there is no way I was taking a black clear all the way for this three and a half hour drive. I think I'd rather fit the pins in my eyes. Um, I'm just waiting for Lewis to turn up now and then we should be able to get the spoiler. So thanks to Chris, I have this lovely new spoiler for my BMW. Let's see how it fits. Beautiful. I think the red really suits the white. Cheers Chris. So finally back home after a three and a half to four hour trip. There was delays, there was crashed cars, there was roadworks. Oh shit. Um, so yeah, finally, we we'll eventually want to go around Chris's house next and take the spoiler. And Chris, you owe me a beer, my friend. Right guys, welcome back to another one. Uh, today, we're going to be fitting a spoiler, FN2 spoiler, onto this horrible Perspex panel that you get on every lower spec uh, Honda. Um, I haven't got it here yet because Craig is on his way, but what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to get this uh, trim popped off here because we are actually going to fix the spoiler down rather than gluing it like a lot of people do. I think sticking it uh, down is okay, but if you want to take it off, it's going to be difficult. So I'm going to take this off and see if we've got some uh, sort of fixing points that I can drill through uh, ready for the spoiler to go on. So let's have a look at that. We're gonna to have to take all this trim off round here to be able to get to this center piece where we need to go. So all I've done is literally put a trim removal tool in there and uh, these just have like uh, clips in there on the ends. Um, then next one we just pop this one off, like so. That just clips out of there. And then just work your way round, same process till you get this center panel off. Right guys, you'd have to excuse the wind again today, but I'm not going to lie, you've got to be pretty brutal with this plastic. Um, these little ones uh, stick into the body, um, and if they do that, you need to get that out, and then literally just slide them back in to the plastic trim where they've come out of. So when you refit, you can just then pop that back in. Love it. He's here, look. I think he's texting me. I'm here. Don't worry about Renault stuff. For your shit car, mate. <laughs> Straight away! Straight away! Beep. I want Honda spoiler! It's in the, it's in the back. What's that? For a Fiesta? Yeah. Full branch manifold. Oh, it's a 421, isn't it? I don't even own a Fiesta. No. Um, next to golf clubs, look. What, you play golf now? <laughs> I try. You gotta have BMW, you gotta have golf clubs. Oh, it's kind of part of the image, isn't it? So, right, what's that for then? Fiesta? Yeah. The new the new project? We haven't bought yet. Mm, nice. Bought nice. parts for nice. it. Look. Nice. It's nice, mate. There it is, look. In the back there. Right, let's get it out. Da 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 Michael Jackson club on there. Hee 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 There we go. Right, let's get it out. It's going to take about three months to get it out. There we go. Fitted. Job done. Not. Safe and secure that. <laughs> Not. So what we got to do is, is I'm going to drill this uh, perspex. Hopefully, <laughs> uh, get these in the right where in the right place. Crack the rear windshield. Crack the rear. Cry. Yeah, window. Um, and then we're going to take it back off because it's going to get sprayed black next week. I'm not going to wrap it black. Um, and throw it in the bushes and drink the vodka. Yeah, that's it. So let's crack on. Just got to remember to give FN Lou a big shout out. Craig went and picked the spoiler up from Sheffield. Sheffield, and I'm yeah. gonna I'm gonna play a video now. So a, so a shout out to FN Lou for supplying me the spoiler. Obviously, I had to buy it, so he wasn't that kind. But uh, we got we got, <laughs> we got the spoiler. Very accurately measured where we're going to drill a hole in the car. I feel like it probably needs to be about an eighth of that size, but we'll go with it. There's a family of ducks in the boot. By tomorrow morning, then it's too big, wasn't it, Chris? What's that? Accurately measured. Chris, why are you wearing a nappy? A nappy? Yeah. Sure. 
Oh, it's stylish today, man. <laughs> Bad man joggers. Right, Bad I'll, man let's joggers. just go for it. Come on then, just. So we've measured up there to there, it's 29 inches. It's a black hole in there. We're gonna make this. Stop talking shit, come on. Shh. Can't say that. That's glass, isn't it? No. <laughs> Chris, this is the only thing you've drilled this week. Yep. <laughs> look, there we go. Let's have a look. See where that's come out. There we go. Not too bad. Lovely. Right, make sure when you drill this side, just unplug that brake line because I reckon it's going to come through near that cable. Let's have a look. Yeah, now just go through quick. CJR shot. Nowhere near the brake cable, mate. So you're nowhere near it, which is good. Say something for your fans, Chris. Fans? Yeah, say something for your fans. It's windy today. It's very windy today. What are we doing tonight? So we're just opening the holes out of the bigger drill bit. Like so. Up in here again. Are you filming a vlog or what? <laughs> <laughs> this is Coca. It's Christmas tree. We're going to have to open these out to I reckon 20 mil. Um, we're now going to drill these two. Here, here, here. That one's drilled. So let's just check. And we're going to get the hammer just to locate it in place. <laughs> no, we're not. <laughs> so, you filming, are you? Yes, that's too close. <laughs> get it out! Right, here. Here. Go on, what are we doing? Right, we're going to drill these last two out, hopefully. Right. Don't know what she's doing. <laughs> What's your wife doing? Mirrors. <laughs> Come on, she just... said to me last night. I think Elliot's been messing with the mirrors. No, he's pressed the button and they're not even out. <laughs> <laughs> right, what are we doing here? Come on, let's test fit it, mate. Four holes in there now. Squat and look. It's my cuts in those. Lovely. Good colour match, look. I still think it looks better on the Beamer. About 25 mil. 20 mil. What is that? To get the adjustment to slide them in. Okay. Just going to open these holes out. A bit bigger to give us a bit of adjustment so we can get the spoiler sat in the right way. Why are you going to 18 mil? He says. Two. Three. Four. Set. There we go. Boom, boom. She's on. Tight gap down there. There. Is that the tightest thing you've seen today, Chris? That's you. <laughs> <laughs> so we've just got to do something up with these edge fixings because um, Lewis um, stole the brackets off there. So that's not going to him. Frick. Just joking. It's not. <laughs> it's, not it's a nice lad. So let's have a look under there. Under where? Under here. Those. There's the, the lug sticking through, so we're going to have to make some sort of washer 
to take out that um, gap and then bolt them in. Bit of tiger seal, off we go, mate. So we're putting a square plate washer to take out that slack on that. Um, so obviously when you fit this to a tie part, it's got a metal bracket, comes off this body. Obviously the lower spec hasn't, so we're gonna have to put that and then put some washers and then the nuts on top of there. Or alternatively, you could buy the brackets from a tie bar. No, because they're welded onto the body. And weld them on? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we're going to do this one properly. Let me get a six mil washer. See, look. We're doing this one properly, guys. Nice little gap we've got there. Look, get my fingernail in that. Doing this one properly, we are. There you go. <laughs> okay, so after my comments, he's gone and got a proper one. Yeah, I've got six mil, six which we should use in the beginning. So we don't need these anymore. Which means they're in the bushes. Looking for a, a couple of washers in here and some grommets to put in the uh, in the holes we've just made. What the fuck? Oh, sorry, mate. <laughs> so just checking the gap. Just just checking the gaps. I was. Is this not what we just call this gap down here? Is just it, checking the gaps. He's dirty. Right, spoiler's now been removed. It fits perfect. The only thing we're gonna have to do is probably do a little bit of tiger seal or something here to fix that because I'm not happy drilling near the screen too close to there for the corner fixes. But it's in the car now. Craig's now just filling up the holes with some um, blanking grommets. Obviously, because I've got to drive this round for a week or two, well, the body shop is going to have the spoiler. Gonna... <laughs> just to stop the water, Craig, e boy, getting in. I don't think these are going to be very watertight, mate. I don't know. Look at this, look. Meticulously installing these rubber bungs. Slip for that, Chris. All right, I'm professional, aren't I? That's it, that's aero wing, that is. <laughs> there we go. Nailed it, mate. Superb. Can we just go down there and see if he's open? Yeah, yeah, let's go down there, mate. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. You can buy me a coffee as well, Chris. <laughs> okay, so here we are on the racing Civic. Okay, complete with um, all the stuff you find in a in a traditional race car, like a, um, a phone holder. And this uh, is actually a works car. Race Civic. <laughs> Just dropped the spoiler off at the body shop. We just stopped at the garage to get a um, sandwich and a coffee. Costa, shout out. So we're gonna end the video there. If you like the video guys, give it a thumbs up. We'll see you on the next one.